I want to do today is I, I do this every time I upload a video and I get a lot of hatred and bad comments against me, mean comments in a video. All right, so I just uploaded the, check it out, I'll put it right here. I just uploaded the M12 half inch uh, impact wrench stubby. And of course, throughout the entire video, everyone was focused on one thing. It was very rare if someone actually said the tool is good. They mainly tried bashing me and saying that I'm an idiot and I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. All right, so I wanna make this video, I have all my impact wrenches right here. I wanna make this video and show you guys the difference between the detent pin and friction ring for the impact wrenches. In my personal opinion, which I don't like, I think that there is an issue with this detent pin. I'm just gonna put the socket on each of them and show you the difference and I'll show you what's wrong with my anvil on the M12 half inch impact wrench stubby. All right, I have impact wrenches. I have Hilti, the new Milwaukee uh, stubby M18. I have Makita low range. I have the DeWalt low range. I have Ryobi low range. I have the DeWalt mid range and I have the, the Ryobi mid range. All right, so I do want to get the DeWalt uh, high range for $200 right now that you can get at Home Depot. That's a good deal. I will be picking that up uh, soon because you can't beat that deal. And of course I have the M12 uh, half inch impact wrench stubby. Right, so very quickly, I just want to show you the issue that I'm having with the M12 half inch stubby. All right, this detent pin will not release the socket at all. I, I'd actually have to take a thin object like so, even to get it on. You can see, so yeah, I'm now I'm having trouble getting stuff on, so I have to push that in. Maybe that's then it goes on. All right, that is ridiculous. All right, so if you take a detent pin on a different one, all right, detent pin, this is a friction ring, detent pin. All right, so if you take a socket to that, let's line up the hole, bam. And then take it out, as you can see, it is lined up. It takes some force, but it comes out, it comes out. You know, it, it just doesn't fall out. All right, so what I'm having with this is this will not come out at all. Let's actually zoom out. Like that, that's not coming out at all. I tried a lot in the past couple days to see if I could force that out, and I cannot. I actually, for this model, it might be designed for that, it might not. Based on the other impact wrenches that I have that do not do this, I have to assume that this is a faulty anvil. All right, so then I actually have to push that detent pin in, then it comes out. All right, so Makita, the same thing, detent pin. Hole is lined up, comes out, and with some force, it, uh, sorry, it goes on and with some force it comes out. The Ryobi detent pin, line up the hole, goes in with some force and comes out with some force. The Hilti detent pin goes on with some force and comes out with some force. If you have this tool, if you have this tool with a half inch uh, anvil on there, and you have that issue, leave it in the comments below. If you figured out how to take care of it without filing that down, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to uh, hear about it, or I might just have to replace that anvil. I'll zoom in since this is a half inch. I just want to use a half inch socket. So like the friction ring, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Focus in. The friction ring is just above the, the anvil, the, like the flat part. It's just above it to where you just could slide it on with a little force. It takes a little force. 
and then it, you, it goes on just like that, and it is like now that might change during the vibration where there is no deep temp pin, so this is useless on a friction ring, and so it, with some force, you just take it out, just take it out. But that is the difference between the two. All right, so friction ring, friction ring, detent pin. The detent pin is good to keep your sockets in place, sort of locked in place. So even with the vibration from the tool working, it will stay in its spot without, like if you're going in or if you're pulling out, the, imp the socket won't stick onto the, uh, the nut or the bolt, whatever it is you're using. It'll stay onto the anvil. So that is a huge benefit that of having a detent pin. In my opinion, Milwaukee needs to fix this. That is not good. To use a nail or something thin and metal to take out your socket, that sucks. It's ridiculous and they need to fix that. I might have a faulty one. This might be a standard for all the half inch detent pins for the subby. So I do not know. One last time. If not, then we are done with this episode. Nope. Then it coming out. So that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys this really quick just to show you the difference between a detent pin and a friction ring. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.